Russian President Vladimir Putin vows retribution for the concert hall terror attack that left more than 130 people dead. Russia observing a day of mourning for those victims. ABC's Patrick Revel joins us now with the latest, including new video that some may consider disturbing. Patrick, good morning. Good morning, Janae. Yeah, it is a day of national mourning in Russia, where the country is really still reeling from this horrific attack. ISIS has again claimed responsibility, now releasing video. But so far, Russian officials are ignoring that, and the U.S. is concerned that the Kremlin may be trying to push the blame onto Ukraine. This morning, Russians gathering to mourn for now one of the deadliest terror attacks in the country's history. Large crowds laying flowers outside the concert hall where over 130 people were killed. More than 100 still hospitalized, according to authorities. Workers still clearing the wreckage. This new video showing the first terrifying moments of the attack. ISIS overnight again claiming responsibility, releasing its own body cam footage of the attack. ABC choosing not to air the gruesome video. Russia says it has now detained all four of the gunmen and seven alleged accomplices. State TV airing video it says shows the detention by the FSB of men it claims are the attackers. But in his first comments on the attack, Vladimir Putin ignored the ISIS claims, Putin instead trying to link it to Ukraine. Putin saying the suspected attackers had been arrested trying to flee to Ukraine and suggested without evidence that a crossing had been prepared for them there. Ukraine has vehemently denied any involvement, warning the Kremlin will try to exploit the attack to cover up its own security failures. The U.S. says it provided intelligence to Russia weeks ago that ISIS was planning similar attacks, though Russia denies the intelligence was specific. Vice President Kamala Harris with ABC News' Rachel Scott also dismissing the Kremlin allegations.